First time I met Mr. McGee, man, that, six years ago, sheesh. So I was in seventh grade, and I was this extra hype kid. Ah, oh, man. And, um, and over my whole six years here, we've grown as a team. We are a unit. We're a unit, man. So I met Donald um, as a seventh grader here at Church Farm School. He was coming to us from Girard College and uh, he had just gone through a pretty tough time in his life um, with his family and uh, came to Church Farm School with a really, really big personality. His oldest son is my godbrother, which is great. Uh, little Dougie, I love him. Um, my family knows him. Um, I go to his house. Um, I know his wife's family very well. I know his family extremely well. I, I've been to his son's christening. I'm very much a part of Mr. McGee's life as he is in school and out of school. My relationship with Donald uh, has been one that over the course of uh, six years, I've seen him um, be a sort of a young, uh, gangly uh, boy to now a young man that is on the edge of uh, doing something really great with his life. I have these pictures that I send uh, of him now from time to time in his senior year of who he was in seventh grade uh, and in eighth grade and it's really, really funny just to see the difference uh, in his own physical appearance but then also to reflect on the changes that he's made um, emotionally as well. At Church Farm School, students get to know each other a lot better than they would at a regular school because we all live in cottages together. The students really gain those bonds because of the different activities that students get to participate in um, with their cottage parents and with each other. Weekend activities, sports, all these things are magnified when we're living together and we're learning to really grow up together. I met Jeremy in ninth grade. Um... We, I went to his room for a question about a project. I think I was looking for a flip camera and I wanted to borrow one. And I saw a blue 3DS in his corner and I said, hey, you play video games? And he said, hey, yeah, I do. And we just started talking on from there. He moved into my cottage sophomore year and we've been friends ever since. The first thing that Brandon and I had in common was definitely video games. In 10th grade though, I really realized that what we had in common was that we could trust each other in ways that I don't think I'd ever trusted a close friend before. Um, living together at Garrett Cottage really brought us together and strengthened those bonds so that now we're able to talk about just about anything with each other. We're 24-7. We're there at every stop, we're there at every go station, we're there every, everywhere that the kids are. Coach Rice is one of those people that always encourage you to do better. On the track or in the classroom, he always wants us to do our best and without Coach Rice, half of my achievements wouldn't be there. So he's like a person that helps you get to that next level in all the things that you do. Well, my role as a coach is not just being a coach. I am a mentor and I'm also an advocate to the kids. I met Eli um, through baseball. Um, being the athletic trainer, I get to see the kids in sort of a different aspect uh, versus seeing them in the cottage. And he was one of those students that you had heard a lot about, um, not always good things, um, but I started to hear that he was really trying to be a leader and that was what kind of started our conversations that led into him wanting to interview for a prefectship. Certain people here had a certain perception about me and I wanted that to change. Um, as a person I like to be looked up upon and like to be there for people. Uh, I, I wanted to become a leader to, to help out other students in the community. 
Ms. Nada really had faith in me. She really showed me that I could be who I want to be and become a great leader in the community. I think a lot of people were kind of questioning whether he would step up as a full leader and he has just done amazing in the cottage. The kids really look up to him, really created a good environment and a, you know, he basically runs the cottage. Um, he's just stepped up as a leader.